Hi everybody, welcome back. Uh, this is part six of the Zukimura BF109 build, the 132 scale kit. Uh, in this, the first of a two part episode again, I'll be applying the decals to the model. There's quite a bit to do, there's lots of stencils to fit uh, and we'll be doing that in this episode and then next time I'll be uh, finishing the sort of painting, decaling uh, part of the build with the washes and the weathering to the model. That will leave just one more part, part seven, where we'll finish the model off. We've got the propeller to build, uh, the wheels, canopy and so on. Uh, and hopefully that will wrap the build up. So we've lots of decal work to do today, so uh, let's make a start. OK, I'm going to make a start this week by painting the uh, rest of the markings. Uh, I didn't get round to painting this horizontal bar behind the national insignia last time. So uh, we'll get the white on. So this is just tummy a flat white. Okay, so that's the uh, last of the painted markings on now. And actually, uh, the markings on Luftwaffe fighters are quite interesting. They tell us a lot about the pilot and the unit that the aircraft belonged to. So in this case, we've got this horizontal band in white, or this horizontal bar. Uh, and that tells us two things. The first thing is that the fact that it's a horizontal bar, uh, the aircraft belongs to the second grouper of the Jagdischwader, uh, in this case JG-54. And the fact that the bar is in white, or all the markings are in white, tells us that this aircraft is the first squadron in that grouper. There were three squadrons in one grouper in JG-54, so this is the fourth squadron. So the fourth squadron in the Gishvada, but the first in uh, the second grouper. The number one tells us that this is the uh, Staffel Kapitän or squadron commander's aircraft. So Hartmann was the Staffel Captain, the squadron commander of the fourth Staffel in the second grouper of JG-54. So there we are, it's clear as mud. So now we can move on to fit in some of the uh, decals. And I'm going to make a start with the tulips on the nose. And to do that I'm going to detach the cowlings and the nose ring that I fitted uh, before I painted these. So we'll get those removed and I'm hoping that the masking's been successful in protecting the engine from any overspray. So we'll see if I've done a decent job of that. So uh, that's a good result, I'm happy with that. There's nothing gone through. I just need to patch in here where the cannon or machine gun bulges were. Just clean up any of the masking fluid that I used. Just to seal the areas off. So uh, masking something like this 
it took quite a long time and it's quite a tedious process really but uh, it's not worth skimping on it because if you get any overspray onto this engine assembly you've got an awful lot of work to get it uh, sorted out again it's worth taking your time and it's quicker in the long run to do a decent job in the first place so I've pulled the coolant tank off with the nose ring but that's not a problem it'll just glue back on again so uh, as you can see here Zukimura provide the tulips in separate parts so these uh, pieces go on the nose ring this piece and then the uh, chevrons here go on the main cowling and you can see that we've got some cutouts here for some of the air scoops uh, and I'm going to use those first of all as a reference point so I'm going to locate these couple of pieces on the nose ring uh, and then that'll give me uh, a reference point to fit the rest of the uh, decals. I'm just using some microset and we might have to use a bit of microsol as well. We'll see how we get on. Obviously the scoop's going to have to be touched in in black. But I'll do those once the decal's fully set. Some more micro set over the top. And just leave that to settle down for a little bit. These uh, decals are from Cartograph. So we shouldn't have any trouble with them. Unlike the Tamiya decals that I've been using on the new F35 that I've been building on the channel. Which are a bit of a nightmare really. Tsukimura get better marks than Tamiya for their decals. I'll position the corresponding I'll position the corresponding one on the other side. Just before I use any micro set on these, I'll get the next two sections in on the upper part of the cowl here. So if we were wondering if Cartograph had got the measurements right, we uh, needn't have worried. That's a perfect fit. Okay, so far so good. They've uh, settled so far, but they're going to need a bit of microsol to uh, fully go down into the panels. We've got uh, a filler that uh, needs to show through and they just need to settle down onto the curvature of this cowling ring a little bit so I'll give them a blast with some microsol and now it's another waiting game once the microsol's on, leave it alone. It is tempting to play around with them, but uh, just resist that, go do something else. Otherwise, uh, you can stretch them, and on 
a set of decals like this where they've all got to match perfectly together uh, you can't afford for them to be stretching out of uh, shape so it's tea time for me I'll go have a cuppa well I'm waiting for the microsol to work on this nose ring I'll get on with uh, doing something else it'll take my mind off that prevent me fiddling with it so I'll get some of the wing stencils fitted now Coming back to the nose ring now, the microsol's done its job. Okay, so they've settled down really nicely with the microsol. You can just, so you can see there the hatch just showing through the decal so uh, really happy with those I can move on now to the underside and finish this nose ring off so I've got another three pieces to fit and our reference this time will be this drain hole here uh, where we can match that up with the central decal that goes on the underside So again, we'll just leave that to dry. Let the microsol do its job again. And we'll just move on and get a few more stencils fitted to the wings. So now I have to match up the uh, tulips on the main cowlings here. So uh, I've already done the port side as you can see and this is the starboard. So all I'm going to do here is just loosely lay the decal on the cowling and then we could just do any final adjustments before the uh, whole decal sets. 
again we've got the reference point of this air scoop Cartograph have done a really good job with these uh, tulips. They uh, match up, they match up perfectly around the front of the cowling ring. So they're all perfectly sized. So I'm just laying those on in, well really it's just roughly the correct position. These cowlings are going to be open. So as long as you get them uh, reasonably close, you're not going to notice any slight discrepancy. So there's no need to worry too much about it. Obviously if the cowlings were going to be fixed, you'd want to make absolutely sure that everything lined up. So I just want those to grab in that position. I don't want to move it at all. So I'll just put that to one side and we'll do the underside as well to match up. Now here I do want to match things up exactly because obviously the cowling ring and the lower cowling are fixed. So we need to just leave these now until the uh, adhesive on the decals just starts to grab. And uh, whilst I'm waiting I'll uh, get on just put a few more stencils on. Then we can come back and get some sol onto these parts. Okay, so that's all done. Uh, all the airframe stencils uh, are fitted there. So I'll leave that to dry before uh, moving on to the uh, next part of this two-part episode where I'll uh, do a weathering wash, pin wash on all the panel lines, do some uh, grubbing up of the aeroplane a little bit. Uh, and then in the final part of the playlist, I'll finish the model off, get the wheels on, canopy, last bits and pieces, and we should uh, get this one finished uh, in that part. So we're getting there with this one. I uh, hope to see you next time uh, just to finish this two-parter off. Uh, in the meantime, look after yourselves, everybody. Stay safe, and I'll see you very shortly. Bye for now.